Hello everyone, today is April the 16th. I'm in Western Maryland again today. Uh, it's gonna be our last relatively warm day uh, for about a week. We have a cold front coming in, but I decided to do a little bit of herping today, so I will let you guys know what I catch. All right, so the first herp of the day is an Eastern Painted Turtle. Uh, seems to be a common occurrence now in my last couple of videos that eastern painted turtles seem to be the first herp of the day but always nice to break the ice with these guys so i'm going to take a quick picture and i'm just going to release them back into the canal all right guys so i think this is actually a new species for my channel this is a red-bellied cooter and if i can flip them around you can see why they got that name. These guys are absolutely gorgeous. Um, and they are relatively common in this area um, and actually relatively common throughout all of Maryland. Uh, it's just, they are usually impossible to catch. Usually they're in deep water and then they always jump in uh, as soon as they see you. But this guy was a little bit cold this morning and he was in relatively shallow water. Uh, so I was actually able to scoop him up but this is really awesome. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick photo of this guy and I'm gonna release him back into the canal. Uh, but we're gonna keep on herping today and hopefully we can find some more species. All right, so we just got done photographing this cooter. Didn't want to stick his head out for us, so we're not gonna mess with him anymore. And we're just gonna release some right here and let him swim away. All right, so the next herp of the day is a huge and probably super old red-bellied cooter. And this guy is kind of funky looking. Look at the back. He's got a weird, really weird shell going on. And you can tell on the carapace, he has a lot of little chips in his shell. And then on his back leg, it's barely a leg. He just got a stump. So that must have, I don't know what could have done that to him. Probably another predator was able to get him sometime in his life. But super cool that I was actually able to catch two of these today. So I'm going to take a quick photo and release this guy right back into the water. All right, just spotted the next herp of the day. I'm going to see if I can catch it on film. Ooh, he just went underneath the log. Ugh. Or did he? Oh, he's just sitting right here. Oh, that's a pretty red belly cuter. That is so cool that I'm actually seeing these guys today. And I actually did a video at this spot probably two weeks ago and did not see a single one of these. So that is awesome that we're seeing these today and actually getting able to catch them. But she's actually being a little bit more active than the other ones. You can kind of see her face. So I might actually take her up on the bank and take a photo of her. Oh, look at that. She's like missing an eye. Man, all these turtles are kind of messed up, have injuries. That's really cool. So take a photo and then I'm just gonna release this. Uh, it's actually a male, you can tell. It's kind of caved in on the plastron. But I'm gonna take a picture of this male and release him right back into the water. All right, so first snake of the day, actually second snake of the day. I already missed a northern water snake that slipped down into the water. Right here is a nice rat snake sending himself. Ooh, get a little feisty. But grab this guy. Oh, you're okay. Nice. He's rattling his tail. That's awesome. Cool to finally see one of these guys for the year. I was hoping today we would actually get to see one. Um, for the species of these guys, it's actually kind of weird in this area uh, because we are kind of in the uh, um, 
zone where they're not very sure if these are the pure eastern rat snakes or the gray rat snakes which you can tell with this guy he has influence of both species uh, eastern rats will be pretty well all black and gray rat snakes have a lot more patterning on them and you can tell this is definitely an adult uh, it's relatively big and you can see that it still has a lot of lighter markings on it uh, that usually the juveniles will have but that's really cool uh, so just probably in this area just call this rat snake species uh, probably can't get this down to an actual 100% species right now until probably they do more studies on these guys but I'm gonna take a quick photo and let this girl go all right so here's one more look at this rat snake before I let her go she's pretty big um, probably just by estimate maybe around three feet maybe a little bit over three feet probably actually over three feet definitely over three feet but she's really pretty and she's real calm now but she has maybe I can show you real nice pattern on her belly gets real dark towards the end but I'm gonna release her uh, right back where the stump where I found her along the base of that tree and we're gonna keep herping today but this is a pretty good start to the day so hopefully that means we're gonna catch some more snakes All right, so the next species of the day is a nice female common five-line skink. So this girl was just climbing up a log, took me a little bit to catch her, but I'm gonna take a quick photograph of her and I'm gonna let her go right back onto her log. Uh, currently heading back to the car right now. I uh, have a little bit to go, so I might be able to catch a herp or two more. Uh, then we're gonna change locations and see if we can find anything else. Go on. <laughs> well, I just missed another rat snake. Uh, it was in one of these cracks. It would have been in, probably impossible to get them out. But the next one I was able to catch is just another eastern painted turtle. So I'm just going to take a quick little photo of this guy. And I'm going to release him right back into his water. Uh, but it's awesome that snakes are out today. So we're going to keep on herping and hopefully we can catch some more. All right, so next trip of the day at a new location. Uh, we're kind of on a shaley type of slope right now, uh, but this is a little female eastern fence lizard that I just caught. It was just crawling on a log. So I'm gonna take a quick picture of this little girl and then we're gonna just release her back where we found her. To give you guys an idea of the habitat that I'm currently herping through, it's a nice little shaley habitat, uh, perfect for snakes and lizards. There's my friend Aaron. He's, he's butterflying and birding right now, but really cool habitat and it has tons of really pretty wildflowers this time of year. So these are species of spring beauties. Real cool flower types in here. So really pretty habitat to be working through today. Uh, so hopefully we get finding some more species. So next species of the day is a relatively young, uh, this could be actually last year's young, Valley and Ridge Salamander, uh, which is going to be a lifer for my friend Aaron, uh, if I can find him, there he is. Got a Valley and Ridge. So I'm going to show this guy to him real quick uh, so he can rack up a lifer. And we're going to keep on herping today. Uh, but this was my goal to find one of these for him today. Um, but we're gonna keep on herping and hopefully find some more species. All right, so I just caught a nice big female Eastern fence lizard. Uh, I had to catch her really softly because I think she's pregnant, uh, probably has eggs um, in her. 
So I had to pick her up really gently, make sure don't harm her in any way. Uh, that way those eggs stay safe inside of her. But I'm gonna take a quick little photo of her and I'm gonna let her go right where I found her. All right, so new species for the year for myself. This is a real small, this is definitely the smallest uh, worm snake that I've ever seen before. Uh, I just flipped them underneath a rock, uh, which is kind of surprising because the rock was just absolutely filled with ants, but really cool. I mean, really pretty belly on this guy. Kind of a peachy reddish collar. Really cool species of snakes. Um, Actually, I don't think I've seen one of these guys in probably two or three years. So, really cool to find. And, of course, these guys never stay still when you're trying to hold them. But I'm going to take a quick little photo um, and let him go on his way. All right, so next snake of the day looks to be, I think that's a black rat snake, just a real small one. But I'm going to attempt to catch this guy. He's kind of hanging off that bank. Um, so I will need two hands for this. But if the next clip is of this snake, that means I got him. Alright, so uh, pretty easily caught this guy. Uh, just had to bend down a good ways to catch him. But nice little uh, rat snake, like I mentioned. My camera will focus. There we go. Um, like I mentioned earlier with the last one is we were kind of in that intergrade zone here in Maryland where there are not positive if these species are eastern rats or gray rat snakes and like I mentioned this guy even shows a better pattern uh, obviously this one's younger but kind of has traits of both uh, relatively black for a gray rat snake and still has a lot of pattern left for a pure eastern rat. Uh, so we're going to consider these guys just an intergrade species uh, of the two. But pretty cool. Um, going to take a quick photo. And I'm just going to release this guy back here. And we're going to keep on herping today. Seen a couple water snakes but haven't been able to get hands on them yet. Uh, but I will let you guys know if I find anything else. All right, so there is a northern water snake down on that little island in the water. Certainly not going to be able to catch him because he is a long way down. But pretty cool, finally got to see one, uh, be able to film one today. Uh, this is probably the third one I've seen so far, uh, but all of them have jumped into the water and disappeared. right now and maybe find a herp or two on the way all right guys next species of the day found by my sister is a big eastern garter snake this one's really really chunky really long Let's see if she's well tempered nice a friendly garter that's a nice change usually these guys bit bitey a really good looking snake so I take a photo of her and I'm just gonna leave her right where I found her next herp of the day is a really vibrant ooh, got away eastern garter snake um, I might actually go down and try to catch that guy I still see him uh, but I will need two hands for this all right so I was able to grab that real pretty garter snake one has a nice band going down the center of its back real pretty snake and while i was catching this one my sister's boyfriend caught another nice looking garter snake so snakes are out um just going to take a picture of this one since it's the prettier of the two and we're going to let them go on the side of the trail and hopefully find some more today that's debatable <laughs> 